is a very significant week in the life of our country. As you know, we have the local government elections on Wednesday. Many of you aren't yet able to vote because you haven't turned 18. But I believe that each one of us can play a part. 567 Cape Talk, Lead SA and the Discam Foundation believe in empowering us, the youth, to make a difference. They're giving us an opportunity to make a significant impact in our community and we call you, the student body, to grab this opportunity with both hands and to make that difference. We were approached by Lead SA through President's Award to do, a pro to do proposals on how we would make a difference if we were given 100,000 rand in our community. It's fantastic to have to work with young people who are so committed, enthusiastic, who believe in the future of our country, who are passionate about making a difference. And um, I know that their teachers will support them. They've got the support of the um, school community, their parents and the wider school community. So I'm really confident that they will utilize these funds really well and make a lasting impact on each of the communities that we, um, or on whichever community we do land up working with. A project that we've been involved in for a long time is our partnership with St Michael's, which is a school in Kailicha. And it's a prep school, so it caters for children up to about grade 7 age, so 13 years of age. And through our years of involvement, we've done a lot of work there. We started building a library last year, in fact. And so that's one of the biggest projects we've had. And now we're looking at greening the school. So we'd like to possibly um, install turf or grass, plant trees, make it a nice environment, something they can be proud of um, on the fields, possibly start sports, create a good sport culture. And also we'd like to teach them about littering and the importance of picking up their litter so in turn they can also be proud of the environment. I think it's quite fantastic that um, the whole process is learner driven. You know, they've come up with the proposals. Um, they're going to be overseeing the democratic process this week with um, informing the school community, giving the school community ideas about um, what factors to bear in mind when they're weighing up and discerning which of the proposals to run with and to vote for. And by mimicking um, the election process, we're actually highlighting to the students how important it is to make informed choices and to use, use their vote responsibly. I'm really mature and I can't wait until 18 to vote. It felt kind of weird because I'm not 18 but a nice experience so they at least know what to do when I am 18 in part of the country. Um, it felt very good. I feel like my voice really got heard. Um, it felt very nice because then it shows us that the school cares about what our views as a student body is and everything like that. It felt amazing. So I didn't have ID so I kind of had to show my Facebook profile. 